Hello there, this is the Misanthropic Lord and welcome to my life. Yeah, this is basically what I do. I just uh, kind of randomly click on a keyboard every once in a while while I have uh, gaming paraphernalia strewn around my room. And we're going to see how this game is because, let's face it, I can't not play this game. Oh wow, apparently it's loading the entire universe and that's what's causing the lag right now. I finally made it! Oh, wait, is this me? I'm the most popular YouTuber. <laughs> I manage my own network. As people dance in rooms in my mansion in the universe, it's been a long, hard trip. Just like other things I have. This is my story of how I conquered the world using my YouTube empire. Creating thralls of all those who- Hi! <laughs> What's that? Oh, well, sorry, uh, I got ahead of myself there for a second. Uh, and now we're gonna make our character, which is gonna be me. So, let's see. Uh, I'm obviously male, if you guys haven't figured that out already. And I have shorter-ish hair. That's actually, actually is usually about that messy, so we're gonna go with that right now. Uh, and I am a dirty blonde, although... It just has naturally cool blonde hair, so uh, I'm going to give myself my blonde hair, my my ugu blue eyes, and let's see, what am I, a superstar, loaded, eh, sociable, romantic, party animal, or G I'm obviously a genius. Yes, that is true. And we're going to be a gamer, since there's nothing else you can be on YouTube right now. Uh, enter my name, obviously, I am... The Misanthropic. I need to find the keys on the keyboard. And it only says Misanthrop. So we're going to go TML. And the name of the channel, obviously, is going to be TML Plays. There we go. And I'm ready to be successful on YouTube. Let's see how long it takes me to get to my actual subscribers in this game. I started making my first videos in this room. I just moved in with my mom and did not have a lot of friends around here. Let's take a look at the first thing I learned before becoming the number one YouTuber. I just moved in with my mom? Man, things are on the down and down with me. Okay, uh, move character, rotate, okay, yeah, got it. Good. During those days, I had fun making videos of the games I had in my shelf. Okay, uh, this shelf? Okay, got it. Empire Planet 2. Is that like Empire Earth 2? Then this is going to be a very boring video. Uh, in this stage, configure webcam, microphone, and workstation with rendering points you have available. Okay. Good. Oh, and we have to call this something special. So let's go ahead and uh, how would I phrase this? Um... Conquer? Conquor? Con I think that's how you spell conquer. Uh, you know, yeah, there we go. We're going to do it like, like, cool. Conquer all the things. Two lines, TML plays, Empire Planet 2. Or MP... Yeah, MP2. There we go. Conquer all the things. Empire Planet 2. That's my thing. You know, I put the two. and people. Some people just put one, but I put two of those little lines. Because I do one more than the competition. Overcame a hard challenge. Uh, happy? Yeah, I'm happy that I overcame that hard challenge. Uh, main menu. Uh, unfunny comment. Yep, that's what I would do. I'd be like, it's the menu. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, going into the editing process, make sure that the triangles go into the other triangles. And then uh, put some gray color and soft focus in there to make it professional. You can't see me right now, but I'm definitely doing quotation marks with my fingers. If I had a webcam, <laughs> that's, that's what you would be able to see right now. I still get annoyed by the time it takes to upload a video to the channel. Actually, no, I don't, because I'm very productive when, when that 
upload time is going through. I make the thumbnails. Well, I make them as in I take Jim's glorious artwork and then I put my stupid little tagline on there. I had to test every month, so I had to study. I'm still a student? Wait, whoa, hold on. Am I in high school right now? Oh, this is... Oh, this is not, uh, not the best. Okay, so, uh, I did not start in high school. I don't even think YouTube was around when I was in high school. I am making myself very old sounding. I could always check if I was ready for my tests by checking the calendar on my cell phone, but going to school and getting good grades was not everything. <laughs> you kidding me? It was everything to me. I wanted to be successful when I grew up. I didn't have uh, to leave my home to shop. That's also true right now. I still don't have to do that. Amazing on. <laughs> okay. Back then there were only three open stores. That's true. Back when I was in high school, there was only three open stores in the entire world. Things were... It was a very bleak past, honestly. It's nice to know that, you know, you have Walmart, which is the only open store now. Run by Supreme Chancellor Trump. <laughs> well, look, Conquer All the Things is actually getting a lot of views. I was already familiar with the basics of making videos and fulfilling my duties. I was aware that the beginning was difficult, but I decided to become a YouTuber and no one could stop me. I had to do it. Yeah, that's right. And nothing was going to prevent me from doing it. Not like a job or studying <laughs> or, you know, trying to become as successful as I could in my professional career, the one that I actually make money in. But you know what? Hey, you gotta start somewhere. And we're just going to click through all those cards. Wow, Conquer All the Things is getting more as a first video than uh, my first 15 videos combined. And also getting more subscribers, too. Uh, just to let you guys know, uh, in the six months that I've been on YouTube again so far, I've gotten about 190 subscribers. And that's pretty fast. The only reason I've done that so far is because Jim is a very nice man. Uh, for this, Lord of Rings Tough, Lord of Rings Tough, bow for upper, upper Earth, we're going to say, I'm feeling a little bit elfish, which is a wordplay. It's a pun. And people who like puns are going to be like, ha ha, that guy is awesome. I'm going to click on his video and see what he has in store for me. And it's just going to be kind of okay. And they're going to be like, all right, well, I guess I'll just leave this on and do some chores or something. You know, kind of feel like there's someone in the uh, in the room with you. I do that all the time. Uh, let's put some more gray color in here. And we are well on our way to becoming a strategy game person, which is not ideal, especially for me, since I'd have to like do research on how to get good at that game. Otherwise, people would be like, oh, you didn't optimize this and you didn't micromanage your worker to give you a farm at the appropriate era. And, the, and then I get D minuses on Reddit. Even though I don't even, I wouldn't even look at Reddit. I'd just be like, why, why is everyone laughing at this whole me getting a D minus thing? I'm actually very good, well, I was a very good student. Now I'm just kind of old and tired and cranky. So we're gonna study. So we can become that person in this game too. <laughs> ah, feeling a little elfish. That got us ah, four out of five. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. What do the comments say? Uh, upper Earth gameplay videos are not common right now, good. Who edited this video? Ha <laughs> ha, it's so bad. Well, you know what, Zach? You can go and make your own videos and then see how uh, tough it is to edit yourself. Also, you're going on the kill list. That's not to say I have a kill list in real life, because that'd be insane! Ha 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 ha! So, the, uh, the real trick to YouTube is making many, many videos and to keep uploading them, because the more videos you upload, uh, the more people see your stuff and the more subscribers you can get. That's true uh, of real life as well. Uh, okay, so we talked about the elves last time. So we're going to start with the dwarves. 
Dwarven Ale and Orcish Booty. That's going to get a lot of <laughs> a lot of weird cosplayers and LARPers, I think, on this video. But hey, that's fine. They are more than welcome to subscribe to me. I will make videos for them. Not the videos that they may want for them, but videos nonetheless. And I have just passed the subscriber count in this game that I have in real life. Okay, so played it for a solid 10 minutes. Good. Glad to... Hey, how much in-game time is that? Six days. In six days, I have 300 subscribers and rising. Good. Yes, and that is the expectation you should set for yourselves. Any people who are new to YouTube and want to make videos. It's not like I've had a channel for four years and had a couple of false starts. Uh, congratulations, you have reached level two. When you get a new level, you can unlock new light bulbs, skills, video clips, and many objects in the store. Press your experience bar if you want to see your unblocked items. Oh, look at that! Marketing friends. <laughs> Sorry. Marketing friends. Because that's all friends are for, is to promote your own YouTube page. Which is, it's not a bad way to do it, actually, honestly. It Just as long as you understand that's not the only reason you have them. I want to make a video of a game. And you want me to edit it for, you want me to play and edit the game for you? Uh... Do you want me to, like, dub over your voice through random conversations that I have with you throughout the day? That may work. Okay, who hated this one? I can't believe that a self-proclaimed YouTuber is this bad at editing. Take some classes for your sake and your viewers. I can't so I can't believe that someone who is commenting is that bad at putting an apostrophe in the wrong fucking place. Kill list! Anyway, moving on. Aw, oh, thanks, Mom! Aw, keep it the good words. Thanks, Mom. I'm glad your love is conditional. I can make extra money with temp jobs. Ooh. Thanks, Mom. I'm glad to know that if I'm not studying and if I'm not an A student, that you're going to hate me. That's good to know. And that, uh, really, that's, that's kind of accurate of real life. If you're in high school and you are able to balance out the videos and studying, then that's actually setting yourself up for real life really well because there's a lot of juggling in real life that you're going to have to do. A lot of things are going to be coming at you from different places and if you're able to do work, if you're able to have a job that you get some cash flow out of and then you have a hobby that you really like, you can transition to doing that hobby a little better, a little uh, a little easier. Otherwise, for the first what, however many years you try it, you're going to be struggling. And it's not going to be fun for a lot of people. If you want to know more about that subject, talk to, uh, not talk to people, but listen to people and listen to people's live streams like uh, Game Grumps. Game Grumps is a really good place for that sort of thing because they're very... They're very truthful of the fact of people's chances when it comes to being a YouTuber. And the actual work that they had to go through in order to get to the place that they are right now. Like, Aaron Hansen has been on the internet making stuff since, yeah, the Newgrounds age. And that was, <laughs> I think that was like, what, 16 years ago that that site first came out? So, it takes a while. It certainly took him a while to get to the place that he's he's at right now. And yeah, it's he's put a lot of hard work into making it happen. But also, who hated this one? Finley? Who edited this video? Haha, <laughs> it's so bad. Are you the same person as Zach? And just posting under a different YouTube account? Because that's sad, bro. Did you know there's a very important gaming convention in a few weeks? Ooh, that's also a good way to meet people. Because they'll be like, hey, pow pow, you know? Social networking. That, that was always important, social networking. Meeting the right people. When it comes to success, and this is a, uh, this is something that I can tell everyone out there w without any hesitation, is that what you know is very important. 
what skills you bring to the table and what talent you have is important. However, what's this? Oh, I just want a talent point. Hooray! That's because I leveled up. Every odd level... Oh, they're like perks. Good. Okay, I'll work on that a little later. I like how it says Comprar on the, uh, on the world table right there. Is this a... Is this a... Spanish game? Or it's made by Spanish people? Let's be a effing casual. Because why not? That's the place we're at right now. But success is parts what you know and who you know. If you have the right people backing you or vouching for you, you can go really far. But you also have to have a basis of knowing something. You can't go into a convention and be like, I don't know, I like turtles. If you, unless you're going to a turtle convention and people are like, oh, sweet, I love turtles too. What's your favorite turtle? And you can be like, I like turtles. And they're like, Haha, that's, that's so right. I love all turtles as well. And hey, maybe you'll be the next big turtle guy. But having some knowledge on the subject that you want to be a part of is not only uh, highly advised, it's also pretty essential if you want to become as big as other people have. Like just commenting on different things. I've, I've played games. I've, I've played games for at least 25 years, so I have at least a smattering of knowledge and how you make games. TMP plays. That is incorrect. That is incorrect tagline. I will have to correct that when I come to it. Lord, episode three. Or not. <laughs> or, just, or just do it that way. Boring humans from Temp. The, the misanthropic player. The misanthropic player. That's actually not a bad name. I need to think about that one. I can't change it too late right now. <laughs> and, and hey, just working through. I'm doing that thing where I ramble. I'm doing what this game is, is telling me. And I'm doing off-topic comments. Long story short, study hard, work hard, and... You may not be as successful as other people are, but you'll get the amount of success that is is not terrible. You'll, you'll be comfortable. Some people go their entire lives working in something and never, never succeeding the way that other people do, but that doesn't mean that they aren't successful because there's a lot of life experience and there's a lot of people that you meet and a lot of fun that you have when you're doing something that you love. So just, just keep that in mind. Don't, don't be discouraged if you're doing something and it, it doesn't end up the way that you want it to. Early on when I was doing YouTube stuff and I, I wasn't getting the look, the views on the videos that I really wanted, I tended to get discouraged. But if you're doing something that you like and you're doing something that you enjoy showing off to other people, then do it. You know, if people are watching, then that's great. If people aren't watching, then you know what? You're still doing it just to just to make sure that other people are having fun with it. And there's a lot to be said about that, of, of just enjoying that for what that is. Even though, you know, in, in 12 days, this game is saying that I can get 2,000 subscribers. <laughs> it took me six months to get to the to the point I am right now. And of those six months, it was like three and a half years beforehand to, to even get to the point I was making really enough money to support doing this, uh, making videos at the same time. Stupid fat hobbits will be the last video that we make for LORT Battle for Up or Earth a gameplay because we are, we are already getting people who are like, eh, it's kind of last week, isn't it? <laughs> Which is completely how YouTube is. This game was completely created because it knew it was going to be successful because YouTubers were going to play it, and then people who watch YouTubers were going to buy it. This is the only reason this game exists. Now, granted, it's actually not that bad of a game. Very Sims-esque. But... It's very... It's very apparent what this game company is trying to do with this game and trying to be successful using YouTubers. 
tangent. Well, I know. What do I know? I'm the same schmo who bought the game and who is now playing it for other people online to watch on YouTube. So they got me. <laughs> I, so there's... I don't know even... I don't even know why I'm complaining about it. Maybe it's because I'm complaining about it because I know that I had to do a video on it. I was like, damn it, people are going to want to see something like that. And if I want to get on it, I better get on the bandwagon right now. So Stupid Fat Hobbits is going out. We slept, we're eating, and we... Have we studied in a while? I don't know. I forget. But we're going to eat, and we're going to make another gameplay video. Because why not? Uh-oh. What, Mom? What, Mom? God! I'm eating some, some Hot Pockets. All right? God, I'll be back in my room in a second. I'm remembering now. When I arrived in my room, I customized it. Customized my room? <laughs> I, I, I'll tell you right now, not a lot of customizing goes into... You know what? That is absolutely false. I'm looking around my the well, studio. This is really my living room. I really need a, a better place for sound cancellation because I know the audio... Every, every time I do audio for games, it really pisses me off because I can hear the white noise in my headphones when I edit it. <laughs> Tangents! Sorry! You start recording? Well, let's do a se Hello there, this is the Misanthropic Lord, and welcome to League of Giants. Today, we're gonna figure out if this loading screen will ever not be loading. Oh, and I just received a headshot, and as you know, uh, uh, professional comment. As you know, the head is one of the most vulnerable places on a human's body, and therefore a headshot will usually do a lot of damage to them. And that's the video. And everyone's like, wow, that's some insightful shit right there. As I MLG no scope 360, as they say. Oh, well, my computer's broken, so I can't do games, obviously. So uh, I'm going to leave it here for right now. If you like this, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, this is the Misanthropic Lord signing off. Have a YouTube kind of day, people. Oh, who is this? Hello, this is Trader Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. Yeah, <laughs> who would have thought it was 111111? Oh, you may be Bro Hard, but I'm Bro Harder. Yes, let the fire of the gods of my enemies rain down upon my face. La 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 la. I'll lap it up like a dog with a bone, and or a cat with milk would be a better metaphor than I should have come up with earlier. But I was too busy throwing as hard as I could.